when I go geocaching, I I grab. I usually take this bag, even though it's starting to fall to pieces, because um, it's green, blends in. But you know, you you pack certain things in there that you're going to need. Uh, things I pack in um, pincers, those things that you uh, metal things you pull hot things out of hot water with. What do you call those? Tongs. <laughs> um, I bring a pair of tongs now. I learned my lesson. Um, bring a screwdriver. I bring a knife. Um, bring a flashlight. You know, there's a bunch of stuff. Um, but uh, today, when I was packing my bag, I was changing bags from the one I had yesterday. Um, one thing that's really important to remember is a pen. <laughs> because you have to sign the log. And out of all, all the, the packing this bag, out of all that time I spent, I never thought to grab a pen and throw it in here. So I came all the way out here without a pen. Fortunately, now this is very lucky for me, very lucky, about two blocks, three blocks that way is a convenience store. So I can run down there and get a pen. I suppose, yeah, that is, no, definitely that is, I don't suppose, that is the most important thing to put in your geocache bag is your pen. Because most caches, I know here in Korea anyway, most caches are micros or smalls and they cannot hold a pen. So you have to bring your own. Lesson learned today. Well, I'm, I'm fortunate I'm gonna run down to the convenience store and get a pen. This is something some people have taken an interest in in real life. Um, how my trousers are done. So you can see there. What I do, I don't have blousing rubbers. So I use rubber bands to blouse my trousers. And uh, the reason, I learned this in the army. The reason you blouse your trousers is to keep critters from going up your leg. Mostly, mostly. It also, um, it also helps prevent the uh, hem of your trousers from um, getting ruined. But mostly to keep critters out. All right, I'm gonna find uh, two or three, maybe even four geocaches on this trail, um, depending on the trail. Let's see how it goes. All right, the cache is right around here. Uh, there's a car there. I can't see if anybody's in the car or not. So I'm gonna walk over and just casually look in see if anybody's watching me The reason I went over there to check if anybody was in the car watching me is uh, Is so that I don't jeopardize this guy's cash uh, if, if uh, a non geocacher Sees me pulling the cash out and putting it back in that jeopardizes it. Uh, he might come over and investigate and think uh, there's something amiss here or just think oh they're ruining this tree <laughs> throw it away or you know, whatever you know something something like that so I don't want to jeopardize his cash and his cash is right here in the line of sight of that car right there you can see the little plastic bit there and it's one of these Can you hear it? This is the, the same area that's got the, uh, the Korean military base that you have seen in other recent videos. Um, this time of the morning, what would they be doing? PT. Yep, I remember PT very well. Early morning PT. All right, there's a photo in the uh, in, in the logs that says from cash. This is the exact photo. I am recreating it, so I should be at the cash. Why can't I find it? The hint says tree, as I said. 
and this is the tree that I was backed up against to take that picture. So I've looked at the base of the tree. I thought, you know, sometimes there's a little opening to the roots that people put caches in. There's nothing down there exposed like that. So it could be embedded in the bark. And so I took my flashlight. Always bring a flashlight. And I took off my glasses. Your glasses can make it harder to see when you're looking for micro. So I took off my glasses and I used the flashlight and just scoured everything within reach on the bark of the tree. Still, I can't find anything. A lot of the trails on this mountain are like this. Just granite rocks that are worn down over the years, centuries. There are portions of this trail that are really tricky. It's a good workout though. For these portions, you use your arms and your legs. I use the rope to help pull myself up. The rocks make it more difficult, but also make it more interesting. Because when you approach a group of rocks, you gotta figure out what's the, uh, the optimal way to get around or over them. Okay, there's a trail. I came up from there and had to find a way to cross this little creek and come over here and let's see it should be in here yes there it is just looks like uh, um, vitamins vitamin E bottle it sounds like just the log sheet inside yep just a log sheet. Oh, here's a trail that I was on. And there's a little path that comes here. The uh, hint is tree, it is a micro. And it's kind of obvious. There it is, right there. All right, the path is up here and it's off the path a little bit. I think this is the last one in this particular series. And it should be right there. Yes, it is. Just a pill bottle. Probably just a log sheet in it. All right, well, I remember this trail. I remember uh, last time I was here, I, I turned left. And that's the video that I talked about um, being afraid to go back to America and stuff. This time I came from that trail up here. Um, last time I was here, I did not have my Garmin and my iPhone uh, battery died. So I did not know that there was a cache. This is about ground zero right here. Where do you think it is? <laughs> yeah, something like this. Let me see. Ah, there it is, right there. Haha. <laughs> Alright. This is one of those. Again, magnetic. Alright, I'm going to sign this then. I'm going to head back uh, home. <clears throat> I had breakfast. I had a bowl of rice at 5. It's uh, uh, about 10 o'clock now. So I'm getting a little hungry. I'm going to head down the hill and get me something to eat. Alright, um, I... I'm, com I'm coming down the trail that I had gone up earlier. This is a series. These caches are all by the same person. And now that I have found most of them, I have an idea of how he does caches. And so I came back here on my way down. I stopped here at this DNF that I had before. And uh, with, with the experience I gained at his other caches, I have found the one at uh, this site here. And it is not on the big tree at all, but it is on a tree. Let me show you. There it is. 
when I came off the trail, I, 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 I probably was five, six meters away and I could see it. But when I was standing right here earlier, I couldn't see it. Isn't that weird? Ah, okay, well, this I've got this whole series on this trail now. That's a good feeling to take home with me. Okay, everybody, that's it uh, for today. And uh, if you're out geocaching, I, I wish you the best of luck with your finds. And stay safe. And if you're not geocaching, why not? Take care. Bye-bye.